get her to walk. Go, beauty. Good job. Hi, Barbie. 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 Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> miniature horse adventure. Capture the hearts and minds of folks in Tuscaloosa. Uh, this is video of what we're talking about. Yeah, do you remember this? Officers trying to get their hardest to uh, corral a mini horse running loose in the neighborhoods. The police named it Genuine. All right, so you may have some questions. What's the horse's real name? And where is it now spending its days? Our Rick Carley has the rest of the story. His new home brings him friends, relaxation, and all the hay he can eat. You could tell when he got here, he was like, this is way out of my element, a little bit nervous, a little stressed out. He had had a busy night, a uh, busy day, uh, but he settled in well. Knight, the miniature horse, is enjoying his new home a few weeks after he went on the lamb. I mean, I've been out on dog calls, snake calls, uh, that sort of thing, but never really a miniature horse at all. The call came to Corporal Brown. There was a tiny horse on the loose, and the corporal knew exactly who to call. Tuscaloosa police investigator and animal lover, Emily Hopeman. I said, I'm putting on some clothes, I'm grabbing a rope, and let's go. To Alberta City, Alabama, they went for the main event. And as soon as we got out of our car, the chase was on. It was a late March night, and a pet horse had escaped his backyard. The good news. Most suspects are like, I'm going to get away and I don't want to be seen, but he stayed in our sights the entire time. Y'all have a horse running around. And the bad news. He would stop for a little snack in the front yard or backyard and we'd think we'd have him cornered and then he'd find a way to slip out. Bless the hearts of these officers who were saddled with this task. So I tied a slip knot and was running around trying to get it around his head. And There was this one time where he uh, did drag three of us down the hill. And when the officers asked the pony to surrender, trying to get it straight from the horse's mouth. He was not interested in talking to us or uh, getting near us at all. Well, can I get the back up? After a dozen tries, bingo. Did you read him his rights? I did not, um, uh, but didn't ask him any questions either. He, no. I didn't think he would talk. <laughs> this miniature horse spit off more than he could chew as a backyard pet. So today, at the blessing of his family, Knight is making his home at Therapeutic Riding of Tuscaloosa. He's listed in stable condition. 
but now he has friends that uh, he can get along with and he can uh, grow up with. All sorts of friends after Knight's story made him famous. You know, Knight's head's gotten kind of big because of this viral story. I asked him for an interview. He said he didn't want to talk. He said he was a little horse. I never realized that it would get as big as it did. <laughs> oh, it was big, all right. And it's a story with a happy ending. I mean, you're glad it all worked out and everything's good to go? I think he's happy, too. He's hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> so happy that at long last, Knight is ready to tell the world. What? Did we get a pony? What the? <laughs> you don't have to call mom for animal control. Tuscaloosa 311 offers residents a way to submit service requests online, on the phone, or with our new mobile app. 311, because you can't call mom for everything. Come here, little pony.